Hey there, Frozen crew. My name is Alex Friesman. Do you remember the game The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? It's a reimagining of the original The Stanley Parable that came out in 2013. It got way more content than the original, including new endings, many new jokes, and much more. I personally have been expecting this game ever since it was announced, and I've played it on stream as soon as it got released. And can you imagine, that happened one year ago. I even have a YouTube video dedicated to this game, highlights from the stream playthrough. You can check it out by clicking on the hint in the corner of the video. Here's a little spoiler alert for you guys, in case you haven't played it yet, but in one of the endings, the joke that comes throughout that whole ending is that the narrator has read Steam reviews for the original game and was really pissed about it. I'm funny! So in order to reflect that, I thought why not check out the reviews for the ultra deluxe version of the game. But not just any reviews, since I'm doing the whole Russian guy speaking English thing, I thought why not read, translate and react for you guys to Russian Steam reviews of this game. Who knows, that even might become a regular thing on my channel. So, without further ado, let's get into the Steam reviews of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So basically, to read some of the Russian reviews, I had to switch my Steam store back to Russian language. Um, so here it is, the page. Don't read any reviews. Yeah, <laughs> as if we're gonna listen to that. And here it is, going down. Also, I haven't written my review yet, so maybe we can do that at the end of the video. So one of the first, or even the first review, is from my dearest friend Damien, or Hamilton. He also has a YouTube channel, the link will be down in the description. He's been helping me out a lot. So let's read his review, right? From the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever made. It is perhaps true to say that no mistakes are forever etched in stone, for the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself been transmuted, offering a message of hope to those who have ever erred in their judgment. You are not beyond redemption. You may change, and you may become more, so much more than you were before. If there is any message to be taken from the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, it is this. What a fortune, a privilege. A joy it is to have had such an experience. It leaves me hopeful that as a community, as a world, there is time for us to become our greatest selves, as great as we ever could dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions for a brighter future. Yes, most respected narrator, you have earned this review. And the ending from where this review came from is probably one of the best in the entire game. Thank you for the honest and wholesome <laughs> review that will definitely make the narrator happy. And we are moving on to the next Russian review. Uh, the review by uh, Lifer Ksenia. The narrator is the best man. Couldn't agree more. His voice is... Mwah. Maybe not just the voice, who knows? <laughs> next one, from Chichis. Well, it's a bit unhinged, but um, it just says Stanley, 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 Stanley. A few inches later. Stanley, 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 Stanley. Thank you. Review by Vladik. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but I like the nickname. Nice. Vladik. No words. Basically, speechless is one of the way to translate that. 41 hours in the game. Holy sh we found our most dedicated player so far. Okay, so this review by Dr. Art. Um, so it's really hard to translate this one because uh, it's basically um, an anecdote, like a joke about about Lupa and Pupa. Let me read out the review first. Lupa and Pupa went to get their payment, but the accountant messed it all up. In the result, Lupa got his paycheck for Pupa and Stanley entered the door on his left. Basically, 
it's hard to explain, but the ending was supposed to be that uh, Pupa got the payment for Lupa, but in Russian it sounds like a swear word, basically. Well, not a really a swear word, but a word that main means basically like he got dick. <laughs> Hello, editing Alex here. So I've actually found uh, an English version of that joke. So if you got confused as to what I meant, the joke goes. Dick and Tom went to get their salary, but department confused everything. As a result, Dick got Tom's salary and Tom got Dick's. Yeah, it's it's that joke. I know. So for, for the review, to, pr to translate it properly, you just should replace the last part with Stanley entered the door on his left. That That's it. That's the review. Anyway, comment down below if you liked my explanation or the actual English version of the joke. <laughs> Gonzalez speaks. Everyone's been saying that Kojima is a genius, but can he make a game in which we can empathize with a bucket more than with the main character? Obviously, yes, spoilers, but there is a bucket in this game and it's a whole new character and it's a... Well, yeah, that's a pretty good character. Imagine a bucket being a great character. Not all games, not all shows or movies get characters as good as the bucket in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Essence writes, I got offended by the broom closet. I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope you recover. Also, it was probably the narrator, not the broom closet itself. Next to you. You can jump now. Seriously, they turned on the jumps. Yeah, but they're limited, unless you do a bug, and then you can jump anywhere. Sure, yeah, that that's the thing, yeah. One of the comments, though, that's a big leap in the gaming industry. Oh, look, a negative review. I haven't seen a single negative review yet. I think we, ch we should check out some negative reviews as well. I've been waiting for this game for 10 years. You can see how they worked on their mistakes, but I haven't found enough skip buttons of this boring developer. Well, to be fair, the narrator is not technically a developer, even though he's saying it's that it's his game. But is he actually a developer in the story of the game itself? Because he's been saying that it's his game and his script. Huh. Anyway, another not recommended review. The narrator is being boring, like some sort of preacher. There is no button to skip the dialogues, no skill trees, no vehicles, no open world, not enough jokes, but you can fall out of the edges of the map easily, and the developers can't even accept criticism from the players. Not enough new stuff, no new recommend, 9 out of 10. And also, where the hell is the sequel? What is this weird Ultra Deluxe title? What is this even about? I see what you did there. It was really subtle. Subtle and funny. I respect that. That's exactly what the player base of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe should be. <gasps> but the, the balls to put not recommended on this. Kudos to you. Product received for free? So I assume it says Fucking expensive don't buy got killed by a door. Okay. Upon entering the review section, Steam user stumbled upon this text. By reading it, he thought that he will find out some details about the game, its mechanics, story or graphics. The user wasn't wrong by making that assumption, but he just hasn't realized it. That's why he pressed the like button for the review, feeling its usefulness somewhere on the subconscious level. And also the user that is watching this video right now felt like it is incredibly informative, clever and funny. And they liked the author very much. So what they did is pressed the like under this video and made Alex Friesman a little bit happier too. Let's write the review. Let's write it in Russian because well, that's exactly what I've been reading for this whole video. Here is my review. 
I've played this game a few days later after it was released, and I liked it. A one year later, I didn't play it again, but I went to read some reviews. I want to thank players for thoughtful and funny comments, because Steam reviews is basically a part of one of the main jokes in Ultra Deluxe. But the game itself is pretty fun, I, I liked it. Anyway, <laughs> watch my YouTube videos, they are in English, but maybe there will be something partially in Russian, like this video about Russian Steam reviews. I hope Steam doesn't delete my comment, because I literally link my... my uh, YouTube channel. Où j'aimais ce vient de la sortie de The Stanley Parable. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed Russian Steam reviews for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. If you want to see more of this content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Have a great time, Zolt Frozen Crew.